centuries ago, when man decided to ship or store something, he got himself some staves, some hoops, some heads, and called it a barrel or a keg. They haven't changed much in the past years, only their method of manufacture. Swing's cooperage is Canadian-owned, parts are shipped from Vancouver and the barrels assembled in Seattle. The firm is the last survivor of a wooden barrel-making business which once dotted the U.S. West Coast. It's now the only one west of the Mississippi. Barrels have been rolling out of the plant since 1907, sometimes at the rate of 1,200 a day. It's now down to about 220. There's no way to deny that the wooden barrel business is dying, a victim of progress. The owners of the plant, steel, aluminum, and fiber barrels are dirty words. Several barrel plants survive in the southeast United States. Most are the solely owned, they're turning out over two million barrels a year for the storing and the aging of bourbon. The Vancouver plant does make some whiskey barrels, but those in Seattle are destined for orange juice, olive, fish, and hides. Sweeties are willing to try anything. Maybe that's why they've outlasted their rivals. The Lake Union plant smells of antiquity. Maybe this and their product help sales. About 5% of their business is keyed to private individuals who think barrels are beautiful.